Welcome back to Classic Firearms, guys. Kai over here, and today is a very good day. I'm very excited, and some of you might ask, why is that? Well, because you just tuned into a very special video. Most of you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you're one of those people and you don't, stick around, you're not gonna regret it. What I can say is go to cfcontest.com because you're probably gonna see something really cool over there. And I don't know, maybe it'll be on your wall someday. So cfcontest.com. Anyways, let's get to the video and talk about this beautiful machine. All right guys, what I have here in front of me is the Six Hour MCX Spear, also known as the XM7 uh, for the US military. Now, let's talk about some of the history on this before we jump into specs. Now in 2019, uh, U.S. military uh, NGSW program, Next Generation Squad Weapons Program, wanted to go ahead and upgrade the M4, basically ditch the M4 that we all love and know about. Now the reason for that was the M4 had its limitations. The 5.56 cartridge basically had a range of, you know, three to 500 yards. Anything more than that, you basically had to get lucky with the, the military M4s. And also when it comes to terminal ballistics performance, it just didn't have the necessary performance the military is looking for. Especially with the upgraded, like the new technology on body armors and all that, it just didn't have the performance to go through those uh, body armors, the intermediate barriers, and of course the enemies at 500 plus range just wouldn't, just wasn't working right, right? Still gets the job done, but it could be better. So with that being said, the military was like, you know what, we need to go ahead and up our game, ditch the M4, and in 2019, Six Hour went ahead and submitted the XM7, which is what you see basically over here. This is chambered at 308. The XM7 is uh, 6.8 by 51 millimeter, also uh, known as 277 Fury. And in 2022, the US military awarded Six Hour with a 10 year contract to go ahead and replace the M4s with the XM7 as the military's official service rifle. Now, this is basically that, just chambered in Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're saying a military trial actually resulted in the replacement of the M4? That's Man, I, I've been doing a couple of videos on different military trials and it seems so funny because they never worked out. So one actually worked out? Yeah, but what are you doing here? This is not an AK. I mean, you're jumping all here's my your, videos. I'm figuring to jump in. Oh, no, I mean, I, I like that. That's cool. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at this right now. Just a minute. Okay. So, yeah, man, like... Uh, what do you Stop. even know about? Do you even know anything about this thing? I mean, I, I it's love not an AK. Hear, I love to hear more about. It. I mean, just because it's not an AK doesn't mean I don't like it. But okay. I mean, so why don't you why don't you teach me about it? I mean, if you think I don't know, like just tell me. Okay, about it. sure, I'll tell you about it. And what I was saying to folks watching, we talked about a little bit of a history on this. Mm -hmm. And Six Hour went ahead and got the ten year contract. It's going to be that gun. So, guys, if you don't. If you don't like Six Hour, for whatever reason, Six Hour is not your brand or you're a, like a really vintage guns kind of person, whatever, whatever you are, right? You want this gun in your inventory, in your safe, on your wall. Why? Because it is now designated official U.S. military service rifle. Yeah, that makes I think it is super iconic. So you definitely want that. So CFContest.com. Anyways, so let's talk about some of the specs. Um, I'll start over here. Do you okay. want to finish over there? Yeah, I I'll, I'll guess I'll do the side. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it real quick. I don't want to bore you guys, but you're gonna know all about it basically of the gun that could potentially be on your wall in your safe. Anyways, moving on. So the muzzle device is just a three-prong uh, basic six-hour muzzle device, mm -hmm. which is compatible with using six-hour, their own suppressors. Okay. So if you want to use your own suppressor, some other line of suppressor. Some other line of suppressor. You'd have to ditch this muzzle device, which good luck, uh, you should be able to make it happen, but it's kind of tight in there. And uh, go ahead and uh, get a new muzzle, uh, muzzle device that's compatible with the suppressor that you want to run. And moving on to the barrel, good old 16 inch barrel. Mm -hmm. And it's got a short stroke piston driven system with an adjustable gas block. Now the gas block over here says, it's pretty much foolproof guys. Suppressor, normal. All right, so simple a Marine could use it. Dig it, Clint. Exactly. I don't know if Clint can, I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> we love you, Clint. All right, so you switch to the right, well, to the left over here, it's a suppressor. So if you wanna go ahead and attach a can, it needs to be in that configuration. Okay. So it needs to be, when it's in the center, it's normal. So now if you're shooting this thing without suppressor, mm -hmm. and for some reason the gun doesn't work right, before you blame the gun, check the gas block. Make sure it's not in the suppressed configuration. Mm. People do that. Yeah, it's just I, not going to run th right. Things happen all the time. Exactly. So there's that. 
And I wanted to show this to the camera if they could see the short stroke piston driven system. Let me see if I can do this real quick. There we go. See, once I pull the charging handle back, you can just see right the here. piston, right? So once the round goes through the barrel, the gases come up here and just strike the strike face. Mm -hmm. And it goes back and chambers a new round in. So there's that short stroke piston driven system. Moving on to the handguard, which is M lock. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. It's got the uh, BCM uh, vertical foregrip. Mm -hmm. And you can adjust your laser, light, whatever else you wish onto this M lock rail, which is robust and nice. And also, we have rail covers. Yeah. Slate, back, slate black industry. Slate black uh, industry. Rail scales there. Exactly. So, what happens is, you know, you would stop dumping mags after mags, this thing will get hot. And this is gonna, the, the rail cover is gonna keep your hand warm, not necessarily hot. And you gotta love that texture yeah. too, the kind of honeycomb texture mm -hmm. you can see on that. So, you know, cool. as opposed to just having a bare metal rail to grip, now that gives you a little bit more purchase, something to hold on to. Exactly, exactly. And uh, also we have both sides uh, QD uh, sling attachments mm -hmm. over here and over here. And moving on to the, uh, well, actually, before I move to the upper receiver. The barrels are interchangeable to different calibers, mm -hmm. and you can remove the handguard very easily by popping these bolts. And over here at the bottom, it comes right off. Remove those bolts, barrel comes off. Obviously, with a bolt head, you can go to a different caliber. So yeah, so currently in 308, but maybe when there's a little bit more commercial availability of the 277 Fiori, we'll we'll see that as an option to which to just swap that out. Exactly. Anybody who want, who's wondering what 277 Fiori looks like, which if I can get it out, there we go. It is this bad boy right here. Yeah, it's got really good terminal ballistics performance. Well, external and terminal mm -hmm. ballistics performance. So hopefully, sometime soon, Six Sour is going to provide us with a weapon system, which is exactly this, that's chambered in 277 Fury. Which I guess we'll see when that happens. So it'll be more correct to what the military is going to use as exactly. opposed to the 308. But you know, 308, fantastic cartridge. Exactly. So. Yes, I understand. 6.8 by 51 and the 277 Fury is superior when it comes to ballistic performance, but 308 is nothing to sneeze at, guys. So it's got great range and absolute awesome punch power. So anyways, moving on to the upper receiver. As you can tell, the upper extends all the way up here, okay? So, you know, on a traditional AR-15, AR-10 huh. platform, we have it's it right, here. right there. So you're kind of limited to uh, attach your scopes or dots, whatever up here, but here uh, you can actually move all the way here without losing zero, which let's admit, all handguards flex. Yeah. So if you're going, if you're putting a dot on a handguard, you're going to lose zero, period. So it gives you a little bit more real estate, uh, yeah. you know, maybe you want to put a, something like night vision or, or something out here, uh, yep. you know, but yeah, you know, it's fantastic. You got a little bit more space. Exactly. Let's talk about the accessories. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got the EOTech G43, 3X magnifier and Sig Romeo. 8T red dot over mm -hmm. here. Right, it's kind of, it's got a circle. It's a circle dot. The circle is 65 MOA. The dot in the middle is 2 MOA, but it's not holographic. It's a red dot. Yep, it's a, a projected reticle. Yep. Exactly. It's super rugged, and quite honestly, it looks badass. It looks amazing. I love this thing. I, I want one of these on my rifles. So there's that, and moving down to Matt, uh, let's talk about the mag. Obviously, we've got the uh, Lancer mag. Yep, 20 round Lancer mag. Yep. Awesome. Lancer's a great product. It really is. And we it's fully ambidextrous. Whole gun basically is fully ambidextrous. We've got ambidextrous uh, right side mm -hmm. mag release. And there's also a mag release for the wrong handed people. Left handed people. Wrong. Put some respect right on my name. Stop it. <laughs> there's right and there's wrong. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So boom, it's out. Now the same thing applies to bolt release, bolt catch, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Over here, so we've got this boom. So bolts locked to the rear, mm -hmm. right? So you can press this on the right side. Good to go. And we can do that again, and you can press this. Yeah, which is more your traditional AR style exactly. bolt catch. Boom, good to go. Now, talking about the uh, bolt catch, let's talk about the uh, charging handle. Mm -hmm. Now we have a traditional charging handle, which is non-reciprocating, mm -hmm. okay? And just, 
it's it's okay. I mean, it's a traditional AR style rear charging handle. It is ambidextrous, you see. We have the locking levers on both sides of the yeah. charging handle. Exactly, so, I mean, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's just traditional AR style, but sometimes you got a glass over here, or, you know, even if this EOTech T43, if this was just another, just one or two, uh, centimeters back, mm -hmm. you couldn't really charge this thing because this lever is in the way. Yeah. So it does happen. So what SIG did, it gave you that option. And also, obviously a charging handle on the left side, which is just fully flush. It's got this retention system and boom, right here and then send the bolt home. It's really good, it's flush. It's not gonna catch on your gear or anything like that. And I really like it. So when I basically bang, 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 Whatever, if I do this, I kind of see even I, my fingers just hit this thing. It's just not comfortable. Right, so send this forward, and when you do it this way, yeah. it just feels I mean, so much better. What it, do you think, man? I, I mean, so it's on the wrong side of the gun, but uh, certainly I, uh, I, I'm a fan of side charging actions. Okay. Uh, you know, all kind of traditional actions are side charging. It's just they moved it to the, the wrong side. Um, one of the cool things about it, though, is that you know, it is non-reciprocating charging handle. So you can see as I retract the bolt using the rear charging handle, this side one does not move. So that's definitely a good thing because otherwise, you know, if you were right-handed, you know, you have to worry about where your hand position is, but uh, yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. get hit by that, you know. Whatever, whatever. Well, be the right-handed person. Don't have to worry about that. Train yourself. Train to be better. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, ambidextrous, uh, fire selector rubber over here, safe and fire. Unfortunately, not the third position. Yeah. Mm, but oh well, someday. And moving on to the butt end of things. Yeah. So yeah. being that this is a short stroke gas operated system, the recoil springs are up here in the front of the action. And so you do not need a buffer system in the back to act with a recoil spring or weight. Uh, so you have a side folding stock here that you know does use a, a buffer style kind of tube. So you have an adjustable length of pull. I believe it's a six position. Uh, this rifle is coming with a Magpul SLM stock. So it's definitely got a really nice kind of grippy plastic plate on the rear. So you can definitely dig into your shoulder and get a good grip on there. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, it's obviously just kind of a traditional AR-15 style stock. So you could use any number of options back here that you would like. Um, you could even replace the whole apparatus with kind of a skeletonized, you know, uh, you know the LT style skeletonized side folding stock. Um, but people might ask, like, why is it that you want a side folding stock on your rifle? What does the side folding well, stock do for you? Of course, if you're parachuting down for your mission, mm -hmm. that could help. That's the only reason. Well, I mean, so the side folding stock is something that we've seen militaries adopt in, in different ways for a long time, right? You know, World War II, we had side folding, underfolding kind of stocks on a number of yeah. different rifles. And basically, you know, it just helps with transportation and, and storage. So if you are getting in and out of a vehicle, if you're like VIP protection and you have to get in and out of a, a Jeep, or if you're you know, a paratrooper who's gonna get into and out of planes, or you drive a mail truck for the US military, and you're gonna get in and out of, of a truck, then the fact that you can now shorten this from this length down to this length just makes it so much easier, more convenient to be able to get into and out of those vehicle doors. As well as maybe you know you're trying to store it somewhere in a vehicle, or there's just tight, cramped space where you are, and you can just drastically reduce the length of it so it's easier to store. Oh, absolutely! Like you know, I'm just uh, kind of show like this. Look at this gun. I mean, it is significantly shorter, right? And especially if you have one of the SPR versions, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then you've got a really slow, uh, small profile uh, rifle that's available to your disposal. Much easier to conceal much easier to... Well, I don't know if you're concealing that too not, well. Not, not right. conceal for an average citizen, I'm talking about for mission purposes, oh. right? And uh, it's just, again, transportation, storage, and certain mission-specific uh, yeah. needs. That's what I'd say. But certainly, I mean, it, it, it just expands the little versatility of the firearm a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so really, I think this is a fantastic package. Uh, some people might be wondering, like, you know, how do I get my hands on one? It's a brand new firearm. Like, it's, it's really hard to get a hold of. Um, they're in the right video. Yeah, I mean, uh, what do you think? I can't tell you how to get a hold of one. I will say though that there's a website that has real cool stuff that goes on called cfcontest.com. Maybe you should go visit that. There's new stuff all the time. But if this video just came out and you're watching it, I don't know, check that place out. Yeah, I would say definitely uh, cfcontest.com sounds like a place to go. 
uh, if you're a fan of one of these things and want to get more information about it, cfcontest.com. And some people are going to ask, like, hey, you know what? Um, I've heard something about, like, a code word or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what, guys? It's in the uh, comment section. Yeah, just check yeah. out the comments. Comment section, there's going to be, like, some code words. I don't know what that's for, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, go to cfcontest.com. Again, if you do, I don't care who you are when it comes to guns. You're one of those vintage guns persons or, or uh, you're just... An AK person like somebody I know over here, doesn't matter. You want this weapon system on your wall, in your safe, in your hands, in your inventory, because it is just iconic. Instant it, modern classic. Absolutely. It just is. So with that being said, you guys know how to kind of get more information about it. And perhaps this could be someday on your wall, in your safe, if you do certain things right. Anyways. With that being said, do you have anything else to add? No, I mean, I think we've covered everything about the system. Uh, it's a fantastic system. Yeah. Uh, one of the only differences between this and a military XM7 is the optics package. So the original military, yeah. the actual XM7, has a, a you know Vortex the smart, smart optic. optic. Yeah. But uh, certainly, you can't really get your hands on those. So this is kind of uh, the package that's, that's, that's mounted on the rifle here. Oh. It is, yeah, I know that thing is like a classified, like all like yeah, secret ballistic computer, to talk about. laser range finder, uh, you know, barometric pressure yeah. reading. Uh, this is an excellent package of oh, this of optics, is though. this is an excellent package. But for that, it, there's no such thing as fair fight, guys. There just isn't. The only way to fight is you just want to go out there and just overpower the enemy in any means necessary to win that fight. That's literally what it is. There's no such thing as fair fight. So with that being said. I don't care what the enemy has. They have a pistol. I don't care if I have a fully modern system with the Vortex uh, smart optic just tells me where to put that bullet. Well, you know what? That's what I'm going to do to overpower the enemy. And it looks like U.S. military is doing just that to go out there and uh, Seeking every advantage. deliver freedom. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Anyways, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I really had fun making it, especially. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, man. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Matt. Um, again, cfcontest.com. We really appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. But before you go, guys, I want to say this. Nobody takes care of you better than you. I mean this. Nobody takes care of you better than you. Go out there and train yourself. Make yourself a better, better uh, person who handles guns because when seconds count, police are minutes away. Anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe.